Hi everybody, Lisa here with another Vera Bradley Bag of the Day. I know today is Thursday and uh, often on Thursday I try to do a, a, a throwback Thursday feature with something, something more vintage. Um, but today I was, I'm just so excited. I went to, <laughs> like in every video I'm saying I shouldn't be spending money and I'm on a freeze, but I broke my freeze. My spending freeze. <laughs> but um, I went to a, an outlet uh, store, a, a factory outlet store, um, two days ago. Uh, I had to go to the... <laughs> I had to go to the the outlet mall to return something so I had a valid reason for being there <laughs> and I thought well I'll just uh, I'll just look that's the that's the number one Vera lie that I tell myself I know we, we all have our Vera lies and my Vera lie is I'll just look <laughs> please stop looking at that dookie please please um, so I, I think it can't hurt to look, right? <laughs> Duke, please. I'm going to wrap it up. You don't stop licking. Uh, we have a hotspot problem. <laughs> um, anyway, so I, I, I just wandered in there and I, I'm so, uh, excited about this find there uh, that I, I just I, I want to talk about that and I'm not gonna do the throwback Thursday feature and Jimmy Crackhorn and I don't care because <laughs> I was so excited to find this thing there <laughs> and also I would I'll talk I'll mention the two other little factory item things that I I got because you can never just buy one right <laughs> um, Anyway, but I, before I show this, uh, I just want to preface this with people who haven't been, I often find that people who haven't been to the fact of Vera Bradley factory outlet store and they're going for the first time, they always ask people, what should I, for advice, what should I look at when I go there? What's good when I go there? And my number one piece of advice for going, when you go to a factory outlet store is go immediately to the clearance section because you can find really great signature store items there. Either it's because people return stuff from the signature store to the outlet because it's more convenient for them, or I don't know if maybe signature stores get returns and they farm them out to outlet stores at some point. I, I don't know um, how that works, but you can. I mean, uh, not always, you know, but you just, you have to keep going and you know, it, it's just luck. You know, dumb luck, really. So uh, I, I mean, I almost didn't even see this there. I, uh, they had some signature store items, and I was looking at them. Some Hadley totes, actually, and uh, the discount uh, sign said sixty percent off in that area. Then there was the real clearance item, uh, like factory item factory store item clearance section next to it and that was marked 70 that had a 70% off sign and so I just thought this was going to be 60% off and you know whatever so I'm looking at Hadley they had some Hadley totes they had some um, Bordeaux blooms uh, bright totes with good dragonflies and I, I already have that bag but I was so tempted to just get another one just to have it um, but I, you know I'm, I'm really hurting for money right now even though <laughs> For my videos, you would never think that. <laughs> if, you, if you watched my videos without sound, and I wasn't complaining about that all the time, you would think I, I didn't have a money problem, but I do. <laughs> anyway, so as I always say, I had no business being there. But I found this there, and I just like dropped everything. I had been looking at a, a lighten up. They had some signature print lighten up cosmetic cases I, had, I was looking at. Um, I just dropped everything and I said, okay, I'm going to get this. This is a Hadley East West tote I had looked at in the signature store when it was out uh, at the time that it came out and it was very expensive and I couldn't get it um, because of the price. And um, this is the uh, 
I think this was a tied into their breast cancer because I know butterfly flutter pattern was their breast cancer pattern and this is the embroidered uh, version of that and the um, Hadley East West tote and they um, at the outlet store there was the regular version of this with the butterfly flutter and I was considering getting that I was holding that in my hand and I looked back at the stack on the shelf and I saw a bit of microfiber sticking out. I thought, what is that in with the rest of the butterfly flutter stuff? Because they were all grouped together by pattern. And I pulled out. I, mean, I almost didn't see this there. So I, I mean, this, I, I know people, Vera fans go crazy for all the embroidered stuff. I don't, just because something has embroidery on it won't, doesn't mean it's going to be a, um, a go for me. They don't all appeal to me. And so, um, like there's one out, the, the latest one that came out on their denim, there's a, there's a denim, like small, uh, iconic Vera tote with some floral embroidery, big flowers. I'm not crazy about that. Um, although if anybody is, it's on sale right now on the, uh, website because they're having a 25% off their like summer beachy theme kind of items, selected items. Um, and that's, uh, totes are included in that. And since it's officially a tote, it's in that. And I don't, I don't know whether it's 120 or what it is. I mean, it's a little bit more expensive because it's embroidered, but it's 25% off right now. And if you had another coupon, maybe you could gang that up and get it with a good discount. I don't know. But, um, cause I did think about that since it was embroidered, but I really don't, I'm not crazy about all the parts of that pattern. So I was able to resist, but this embroidery, I just fell in love with immediately. And I was in the signature store, my signature store with my husband, actually, who was very patiently watching me <laughs> look at all the Vera and, uh, I was looking at this and he said, Oh, just get it. Why don't you get it? And um, I said, I can't, it's too expensive. It was $118 or something like that, straight retail. So I have the lighting a little bit different here today. I usually have my blinds up, my shade up. But when I was doing that, the, the colors and some of the colors in the embroidery were blowing out um, because it's hard to expose for both the, the, the background is the microfiber is navy blue. And this on the tag, this, this is just called classic navy. If you want to come up, you can come up. Just you can come up. It's okay. Um, so it's it's kind of reading a little black here, um, but I didn't want the. But it is navy blue, which is nice. It sort of softens it a little bit. Um, you can come up if you want. You can come up. <laughs> Go ahead. It's okay. Um, but I really wanted the colors to look there as they do in, in person, which is very rich and, and vivid. And so I have the shade down to get a sort of more diffuse lighting. So, you know, everything, the background and my, me and my clothing are probably all kind of blending together. But the important thing is the embroidery and I wanted to try to hold it close to the lens so people can see. I mean, I just, there's not a thing about this particular embroidery pattern that I don't like. I love the colors. Um, and I just love the positioning of it. And what I like, uh, all, all of the, the three butterflies, and what I like about um, this versus the regular Hadley East West tote in this, uh, in the butterfly flutter, is that these butterflies really read as butterflies. Sometimes I feel like in that pattern, depending on how it's uh, cut up, or the bag construction, I feel like the um, the butterflies become a little abstracted, and sometimes it's, they don't read as easily as clearly as butterflies. But I think in this one, because they're not so there's not so much overlap, and there are only three of them, they really read well. I mean, it's just that's a little bit better light there, not blowing out. I, I, I can't get over. It's just so luscious and gorgeous. Um, I do feel like I'm going to have to be careful uh, that it doesn't snag or pull. I could see some of these threads maybe pulling out. So I have to 
store it carefully, I feel like, and be careful when I carry it. And it does because it's microfiber. I think to me it feels a little bit dressy, but I'm going to try to not treat it so like it's so precious. I, I want to try to use it because it's so beautiful. It, it, it should be used, not just sort of saved and hidden away. Um, I do have another video on the Hadley tote, uh, East West tote, my super bloom one. But um, for people who haven't seen that, I just I did write down I did write down the dimensions. If people are curious, then I'll stand up and see people can see how big it is. Uh, it's one of the smaller totes and it is retired, I think. I mean, I know that the, the big Tadley is retired. I feel like this might be retired too. I mean, it's not coming out anymore in the newer patterns, but I feel like you still can find it in the online outlet sales. Can we stop looking on this bed? Crazies. So, I mean, this just proves my point, which I've always said is that look in the clearance section because you can find these amazing signature store items. Uh, you just got to be a little dedicated and go, go, go back. Like I would say that the two prior visits prior to this past visit, when I got this, that clearance section had no signature store items and was kind of depressing. It was just uh, a lot of factory outlet patterns are trying to clear out, one of which was Scroll Medallion, which I actually like. I know a lot of people aren't crazy about it. I do like Scroll Medallion, um, but there were other patterns that I'm not crazy about in there, and it just seemed like uh, they were just trying to unload a, <laughs> a shitload of stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, this top opening, which is a soft, you know, plastic zipper, no, no metal zippers on this item. Um, is 14. The opening, top opening is about 14. The height, the height is 10 and a half inches and the base is 10 and a half by 6 inches and the strap drop is 10 inches. So it's your, you know, it's got your, your Hadley construct, you know, features like it's hard to see here. Let's see if I can get it on there. There. <laughs> there. <laughs> um, it's knotted. These these uh, straps attached to the hardware there with these decorative knots. They're just decorative. I mean, they uh, they don't open. They're tacked in, in place. Um, and there's a on the front here. There's a hidden vertical zip pocket. You know, pretty big. I mean, it goes all the way to here, and the, the entire height of the bag. I don't know if I'd be, I mean, I already, I know I say in other videos, I, I tend to forget about that pocket and not really use it, but I think here intentionally I wouldn't use it just because it really does, the zipper, that zipper area really abuts the embroidery here, and I wouldn't want to risk any kind of pulling there. It's just a little, it's unnecessary to me activity near the embroidery, so I probably won't use that. The back is, is just your plain, uh, uh, just the quilting. And I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can sort of see the te texture here. It's the uh, micro square quilting that I, I'm always saying I like so much. And that, that was the Hadley, the Hadley line had that uh, throughout the line. So I, I'm not going out today, so I didn't actually use this, but I did put the stuff that I use in here just so people could see um, what you get in here. Oh, um, before I take it all out, let me just stand up so people can see the size. Move the, I'm sorry, Dookie. I move the camera a little bit. So that gives you an, oh God, it looks nice from a distance. I haven't really, <laughs> I haven't really looked at it, you know, on and filled up with stuff, but God, it's just gorge, isn't it? it I mean, it's just so uh, stunning, really. I love the way that um, embroidery wraps around the front here because the style of this Hadley tote is to sort of be curved here. There's no, there's no side seams on the Hadley, which is one of the the things that I like about it so much. Love that construction. I, I don't like it when there's that side seam there. 
as much. So even this one in the back curves around here. You know, it curves around the front end a little, the end a little bit there. So you can see it sits up, you know, kind of high in, in the waist, that section, that part where I like my bags to fit. And it's a little bit sort of slicker looking, I think, than some of the pattern fabrics, you know, which are a little sweeter. This looks a little bit, I don't know, a little bit more, I don't know, sophisticated. It has a sophisticated, dressy look. Doop, doop, he took my spot. All right, I guess I'm sitting over here now. <laughs> um, so I'll just I'll just sh see if I can get a shot of my stuff in there and take it out so that people can see the lining. It does have a pattern lining. Um, so oh oh, this is good light. Finally, good light for an interior bag shot. I always have trouble. <laughs> I always have trouble with that. Maybe I'll stick with this lining. Um, so you can see my stuff in there and actually also was kind of excited because I just figured out how to use an item I had bought, but um, a Vera item I had bought that I didn't know how I was going to use. So anyway, I have my GPS pouch, and my iPad mini, please stop licking your feet. Um, the all-in-one crossbody that I use as a wallet. Splash, splash dot. <laughs> they had a, they had a tra a hanging travel organizer in the clearance section in splash dot. And I was very tempted to get that, but it's not really, I, I don't really need it. So and then I saw this and I just dropped everything. <laughs> it's like I am when the online outlet sale comes and I see that one thing I want and I just put it in there in the cart and I check out immediately. That's how I was with this. It was like. Everything stopped and I just ran to the checkout counter like someone was going <laughs> to grab it from me. <laughs> and my phone and my iPod, which I, I am using in the interior slip pockets, which I'll try to show, which is unusual for me, but I, the bag maintains its structure because of the other stuff that I have in there and so it doesn't flop around. So then I use the side pockets. The interior side pockets are a problem for me when I feel like I put stuff in there and it weights the, the wall of the bag down and then the bag sort of collapses. That I don't like. And this is the thing I hadn't figured out how to use yet. This is a medium, light nut, medium cosmetic. Um, I got it in an online outlet sale because I love this pattern. This is Petite Vines, which is my favorite light nut pattern. And I, I just didn't know what to do with this. I knew I wasn't going to use it for travel cosmet like cosmetics or toiletries because I have something I use for that that I like better. This is a little floppy. But I've recently started traveling, just, you know, when I go out for the day or whatever with my bag, I've started carrying charger cords with me because I'm having some phone trouble. And so this works well to keep my uh, charger cords in. And it stands up nice in the, in the bag, and I can keep it open and just grab the cords when I need them, and it, it keeps it shaved even though it's open. So even though it's floppy... Um, it, it does what I need to do in the interior of the bag. So I was very pleased with that, and I just keep keep it packed, and I just take it, you know, I keep it where I keep my GPS pouch when I'm at home, and I just pull them both out and put them in the bag. So the interior of this is just like the a regular Hadley East West tote. Um, on one wall of the bag, there's a, there's a zipper pocket. And on the other, two slip pockets, sort of see. And it's kind of fun uh, polka dot uh, lining. It is that nylon or polyester or whatever lining, not, not cotton. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I mean, this is like, you know critters on steroids for me. I don't care about anything else. Uh, just so happy all night long. Like every time I would wake up in the middle of the night and roll over, I was like, oh, so glad I got that bag. <laughs> I mean, I wanted this bag, you know, when I first saw it. It's too expensive. And 
then it was in one of the online outlet sales and I still didn't get it. I passed on the opportunity because it still wasn't cheap, cheap. But I got this for, so I thought this was gonna be 60% off. That's what the sign said and I was like, okay, that's still pretty expensive, but I can't pass this up again. But I got up there and it was 75% off. So, I mean, just an awesome deal, really, for, for what this is with the embroidery. And then, let me just get everything out of the way here. But I definitely recommend this bag. I mean, I, I was looking at the other, like I said, I was looking at Butterfly Flutter, a regular pattern in this same bag because... I was feeling like, you know, that's a nice size tote. I mean, it's it's a comparable size to that um, on the go, the large on the go that I've been talking about recently, so I'm in love with, and I, I need another shoulder bag. And so this is a shame that this one is, this is a good size. It's comparable to that, not exactly the same and not as slouchy looking, obviously. But, so I was gonna get the other one because I, you know, I feel like I could use a bag that size, but then I saw this and so, all my problems are solved. Okay. Let's get all that out of the way. Uh, still in the shot. So pretty. <laughs> this makes me happy. Um, so the other thing, the other thing is I finally got in some new... Oh, dookie. <laughs> Uh, you know, he's only, only 95 pounds. I'm 130, let's say, <laughs> 125, 130, but yet he's still muscling me out of my spot. Um, so they, I had talked in a, a previous video about, um, getting some Flamingo Fiesta items at the outlet store, including a tech case, but I wasn't really happy with the pattern placement and it was the last one that they had in the store at the time. And every time I would go back, they had never gotten in any more of the quilted ones. They had a, the lighten up version, but to me, the lighten up version of a tech case is pointless because it has no padding. I mean, I'm not gonna put something that has a screen in an item that has no padding. Um, it's like putting it in a small potato sack. Um, you know, there's no protection there. So that's a, to me, that's a pointless item. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna, if you wanna use it for, for tech, it's a pointless item. Um, you know, if you want to use it for something else, great. And people repurpose their rear all the time. But they had gotten in a, a whole, a new supply of these in the quilt, quilted version. And um, I feel like I was able to get decent placement. You know, I can't, can't avoid the, decapitations completely. Actually, this is really good light for this color too because it's not blowing out. The pink isn't blowing out as much as it was, in, I think, in the other video. Um, so you can really see the in the detail in, on that, that one with the um, foliage on its head. And uh, on the other stuff. So I feel like I got, you know, three full figures there, so that's pretty good. And on the back, I did want the, the bird. I, I've talked about this in the other videos with Flamingo Fiesta items. That bird with its foot in the water. I love that, that little detail. So I wanted that. So I feel lucky that I got that. And there's a bunch of different full-figured, you know, full-figure birds there. So I was very pleased with that. And I love that, uh, that the strap is a fabric. So I, I would keep it on there even if I'm not using the strap. Rather than I always take those pleather wristlet straps off. I can't stand them. Please stop licking. I hear you licking. Inside is this real Barbie pink, like I've said in the other uh, videos, but in case people haven't seen. And the tech case has this like slip pocket on one wall. And it, you know, it's quilted. The, the lining is the back of the, uh, the quilted fabric. So I feel like there's, you know, a little bit of padding for protection for your your tech stuff. I, mean, I, I definitely would use this. I am going to use this for my iPod um, when I, I'm carrying it. But um, I could also use this just as a wallet or some a clutch or something, and I probably will use it that way as well. Um, I, I do like this item. And the sale right now, I think it's just changed starting today, but 
but it was 60, only 60% 60 off for this because they had a, it was like 60 plus 20, but the plus 20 was only on certain patterns that I guess they're probably trying to get rid of. And this wasn't one of them. But I think the sale is changing now. I feel like I got an email. I feel like it was like 50% off everything plus an extra 30%, I think. Okay, so the other thing I, I did get was a different one of these, because I, I had gotten, this is the original one, I'm going to return it. I haven't taken the tag off yet. Um, Waikiki Paisley Kiss Coin Purse, which I love, is an item I, I love. Um, and I talked about the background color being different in different parts of the pattern. And I really like the two lighter shades, which you see here because they just remind me so much of like tropical ocean water colors. And I found one that I feel like has more of that background color because on both sides, the background color is either the light or the medium. Um, and so I, I decided I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna return that one and keep this one. I also feel like I like the pattern placement a little bit better here with the chartreuse dots on this side and this sort of arch of these pointed shapes. And then on the back also you get some more of the chartreuse in the in the middle. So um, with the lighter, more of the lighter uh, background color. What's nice about this kind of a pattern on this kind of an item is that when I talked about like on the Flamingo Fiesta version of this, since it's one piece of fabric that wraps around you know, from one piece of the frame to the other, it just wraps around this way. There's no seam. So if a pattern has an obvious top and a bottom on one side, it's going to be upside down. So the flamingos are upside down on one side. But on this one, it's very abstract and it doesn't matter. There is no right way. And so it looks good either side, which is nice. It's nice when the patterns work that way. And for the most part, I feel like the patterns work that way, right? It's only really when you get an animal that, or if you got flowers with an obvious stem, maybe they would look upside down. But it's rare that, that a floral pattern looks like that. So. So that was my other little decided to get that. Um, and I had a I had a coupon. I was going to use a coupon. I was all set, which is actually kind of why I, ju I justified getting this for myself. It's almost like this was going to be free. But this was so, this was considered clearance, so I couldn't use my coupon. And it was so deeply discounted that these two things together were less than it would have been with my coupon even. So I didn't even use the coupon. I don't know. Coupon's probably going to expire before I get a chance to use it. But... Anyway, God forbid I should let a coupon slide. <laughs> anyway, so I, I just, I know it was Throwback Thursday, but I, I couldn't do it because I am just so in love with this. Uh, just so in love. <laughs> uh, with this uh, classic navy microfiber embroidered butterfly pattern. Uh, really, I mean, I just... I just not there's not a color in here and not a color combination in here that I don't like. I noticed because they had some full size Hadley totes in this and this and the clearance section, um, but the butterflies on that were unfortunately cut off awkwardly, and they got a lot of yellow parts of the butterfly. And in, on that printed fabric, I'm not crazy about the yellow, but in this here, I love it. Uh, I think it looks very good here, very warm, and I like it in, in the combination there. And it's not too much of it, you know, the blues and the pinks. So anyway, that was my sort of my bag of the day. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna actually take it outside, but I am going to stare at it lovingly. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next time.